If you've been doing audio production before, then chances are you already know about the three basic tools you'll be using for mastering, which are a compressor, an equalizer, and a limiter. But if you're mastering music for a client who maybe hasn't spent a lot of time in audio production, then they're probably going to tell you what they want their music to sound like, but not in technical terms. In other words, clients typically use a lot of adjectives, so I have to read their minds. They say things like, make it punchy and shiny and loud. And when a client says things like that, they're actually describing the kinds of tools that you'll be using to apply those broad treatments during the mastering process. In other words, the punchy characteristic means that you would use a compressor. A compressor also evens out all of the dynamics. And the shiny characteristic means that you would be using an equalizer. In other words, is it too bright or is it not bright enough or does it need more low end? We'll talk more about that later. And also be aware that an equalizer is synonymous with EQ or tone. And then finally, when you need to make something loud so that it matches the same loudness level as other commercial recordings that are on the radio or on streaming services or whatnot, that is when you would use a limiter. So those are the three basic mastering tools. There are even more of them out there, and I'll tell you a little bit more about some of the other options later on in this course. But for right now, remember, compression, equalization, and limiting. And next, let's talk about how to listen when you're mastering.